Every now and then you come across a story that has no reason to be as fantastic as it is, especially for a martial arts manga, which, let's be honest, are a dime a dozen. But haha, actually today we're looking at a manhua, which is a first for the channel and it does mean that I get to struggle to pronounce the beautiful Korean language. Yes, this is The Breaker by, and we're starting early, John Juk Jin and Park Jin Hwan. I'm really sorry for anyone who actually understands how Korean words are said. I do have a soft spot for the story, and there is a sequel series called New Waves, which we won't be covering here, as naturally it does spoil the entire ending. Though I definitely would like to hit it at some point, because rereading it did change my opinions and I want to talk about it. As far as spoilers go, we're going to be talking a few things that you learn in the first couple chapters, which is kind of required in this instance to make a fair recommendation. So today, let us ask the question, should you read The Breaker? The Breaker is a classic martial arts story. It runs for only 72 chapters, so it's actually a pretty quick read. We've got our newcomer, Shi Woon, who wants to become stronger under the tutelage of this man known as the Nine Arts Dragon. We follow Shi Woon as he gets pulled into this new hostile world, as well as following Nine Arts, who is trying to achieve some secret goals of his own. Over the course of the journey, we meet new characters, we flesh out this world of Murum, and uncover some of the secrets that Nine Arts is working towards and his reasonings for doing so. All the while, seeing some really well put together battles using a surprisingly strong power system. Let's talk about the world starting with the power system. The breaker runs on classic chi energy, think Dragon Ball minus the blasts and the flying. By channeling this energy, you can enhance your strength and your speed. Different clans and different groups focus on different areas or styles. Nine Arts is Nine Arts because he can do it all and that's what makes him so crazy powerful. There is an emphasis not just on the brute strength, but also on Talk lock. What's important to note is that Chi users can still be hurt and killed by regular weapons like guns. This means that the Murum world needs to be in balance with the regular world to avoid a mutual conflict. Murum is the name for the secret society of martial artists that use Chi. They're in agreement with their local governments to keep their affairs separate to each other. This means that Murum people need to keep their fights away from society and not flex in public. This is why the Nine Arts breaking away from the Murum is such a big deal. He's very powerful and now is free of any restrictions that the Murum world adhere to. He is their problem to be dealt with. While Shi Woon is our main character, Nine Arts is the person we enjoy following the most. He's powerful, he's tragic, he's funny, and he's terrifying. One of the absolute joys in this story is watching other characters react to him. Nine Arts is a living legend in this world, and a lot of the time, the mere mention of his name is enough to get people scared. People do some crazy stuff in this story based on his name alone, which I just can't spoil here. Moreover, when we do see him in action, it's amazing. Think in Full Metal Alchemist, when Wrath attacks up the palace entrance, that terror he inflicts, and the absolute control that he has, that is what the Nine Arts is like. Beyond just the battles though, his personal story and his, I guess his character arc, is really well realised. His story alone is worth picking up the breaker for. We can't not talk about Shi Woon though. He is just frustratingly basic for the main character in this story. What I mean by this is that his main character traits are, he's nice, he'll defend his friends, and he's extremely driven and resilient, never giving up. That's his ninja way! In the words of one of my actual friends, you're basic. These traits could just describe 90% of shonen heroes. They've been done a million times and it's just following the tropes at this point. To the author's credit, they do balance him out with the Nine Arts, who is so much more of an interesting character, so thankfully, Shi Wound Time breaks back to the Nine Arts enough to keep the story interesting. That's not to say that Shi Wound doesn't have his moments, but you will not be reading this story for Shi Wound. Let's talk about the art style. As you're reading through the first chapters, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a more comedy, comic sort of style, and it shouldn't be taken that seriously. Then you get panels like this, and oh, it's just gorgeous, look at him. Across the story, the art begins to take on this more serious style, which reflects the tone that the story is heading towards. Generally, in the start, there is this more fun tone, which reflects itself in the more goofy art style. Overall, the quality of the art is great. Everything is always clear, and it has this great flow to the action. It's interesting seeing the progression of the artists also. By the last chapters, things get even more tidy and more clean. 
We can't talk about the art style without mentioning the fights though. These are beautifully done, full of these explosive expressions and motions. You know who is where and what they're doing. Honestly, full praise to the artist. Car Pites, great job. Let's also look at characterization. There's a number of these emotional reaction shots which break into the story every now and then, which I just want to bring up. These are so important because often it's when emotions become too heated that the fights begin. By adding these emotional focus panels, the plot beats in the story are all tied to character motivations, which just makes the story flow so much better. So should you read The Breaker? Heck yes, go read it, it's so good. There's some cringy fan service and some weird moments, but overall, this story kicks ass. Nine Arts is amazing, and every page following him is such a delight to read. Somehow, they've managed to incorporate this interesting Murum political plot and interesting emotional developments tied together through the beautifully realized battles. My goodness, go read it. For such a short read, you will not be disappointed. I've tried quite hard not to let the sequel, New Waves, retrospectively change my opinion on this story, though there are many times I've wanted to add an extra comment based on New Waves. If you are interested in the sequel, I'd honestly say hold off, unless the author's greenlight part 3. For context, this is part 1 and then New Waves is part 2, and we don't know if they are going to do part 3 either. I don't want to give away my thoughts on New Waves just yet, as this story really should be viewed in isolation if you're just jumping in. Anyways. Thanks for watching. If you want other recommendations, click here. Otherwise, this has been CG, and I'll see you Gs in the next one.